Bobby's World. Bobby's World, okay. I got like 15 <laughs> fucking chains on and shit. Cool as fuck, though. Uh, you ready to return? Back bring you Bug TV, man. Another new scenery, man. Got my dog Taz with me today. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How's it going? Man, <sighs> just working hard. Just got done making some music. Uh -huh. Doing a big interview. Happy to be here. Yes, sir. We happy to be here too. Appreciate it. appreciate you letting us come up here. Shout out to my dog Terry Trav. That boy working hard behind that camera. But uh, so you said you started making some music. When did you start rapping? I started making music. I started in my mom's basement back in 2013. I was living in Charlottesville. We just we just got kicked out of the house. And, you know, my dad built for me and my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was definitely feeling some type of way. You know, living in the basement, mom struggling. Yeah, you know, yeah. going through her shits. I'm going through my shits. And I kind of just turned to making music. Okay. Uh, and it started off, you know, I couldn't make anything worth a damn. You know how that goes. Yeah. Um, and then I just kept working at it, working at it working on you know at night when mm -hmm. i wasn't working and about 2015 i really started that's when you took it serious that's when it took that's when it took a serious turn i started actually making realistic music now from from you said 2013 to 2015 so like in 2015 what made you like all right let me take this take a little serious let me turn it up a notch well it's actually funny um <laughs> The the app GarageBand, which I use, updated to the point you could have the live tiles, which um, you could put four second loop, eight second loops, and you can just kind of put it on repeat. And I was able to teach myself at that point because I'd start with drums mm -hmm. and then come in and play the keys, synthesizers, whatever, and it would make the song come together. Um, and that one day I just made that song and... <laughs> It just hit different, like and I it. knew. Yeah. I knew it was going to be different. That's what's up. What song was that called? You Euphoria. It's Euphoria. actually still on SoundCloud. Okay, go check that out. Euphoria. What's your SoundCloud name? Oh, man. Well, my song, <laughs> High C Leader of the Tribe, <laughs> like SoundCloud Dash Nautical. K N O T I C A L. That's got to change soon, but for now, that's what it is. And so you're living in your mom's basement, so that's what inspired you, like? Just a lot of shit. Um, I, the high school, I didn't graduate on time. Uh, just being in a struggle. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people fuck with you when when you when you low. Yeah, straight yeah, up. You definitely right. Thanks, thanks. Um, and just a lot of stuff inspired me, and it still inspires me to this day. So you basically just want to tell your story. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We everybody in the tribe. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of my friends. Anybody that helps the tribe is part of the tribe. We're just big tribe. All right. Now speaking of the tribe. Tell the camera what. Tell the people out there what's the tribe. The realest individual beings existing. <laughs> what? Remember it. <laughs> Say that one more time. The realest individual beings existing. The realest individual. You'll beings. hear that name soon. Don't you worry about that. It's the tribe. Now, what made you come up with that name? Man, it's fun. I was trying to come up with an image, and and coming up with an image for a brand is hard because you want something that not only catches attention, <laughs> but something that comes right off. the Top. Right off the top of the head, and the tribe—it's easy, but at the same time, it's deeper because it means something deeper. The realest individual beings existing. We're, you know, we're real. We keep it real, and that, you know, that's with our art. That's with our music. We keep it real. It's what we're going through. We ain't gonna lie to you. We ain't gonna bullshit you. It's always real. That's what's up. <laughs> Straight that's up. what's up, man. For real. Like Straight I was up. thinking, the tribe. What does that stand for? Now that you broke it down like that, 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 that that's what's up. Also, you can't forget the four dots. See, the four dots kind of, I, it, it, to a degree, it symbolizes something. It doesn't have a meaning, but you can't have the tribe without four dots. the four dots. The red, the blue, the yellow, and the red. Mm -hmm. Just kind of, you know, put some respect on the name. You got to put them four dots in between it. Now, how many people is in the tribe? Currently, right now, musician-wise, it's just, it's just me rocking it. I mean, we got guys out here that are uh, doing painting, mm -hmm. clothing. It's all under wraps right now, all right. but don't you worry about that. Okay. Uh, it's all it's all coming soon. <laughs> we got guys working on our scene. We just we got guys that want to express themselves, and you know they're they're passionate about it, just like I'm passionate about it. And if you're passionate about your art, I mean, let's do it. Yes, sir. Real talk. Yes, sir. Now, what mainstream rapper really inspired you, if any? Mainstream. I want to say who I really just it got me listening to music heavily. 
because I, I didn't listen to it for a while, but Heavily was Wiz. You know, local Pennsylvania rapper. Shout out to Wiz, man. And he was killing it, man. Shout out to Wiz. Definitely Big is. talk. But, he was uh, man. Bro, he was a man in high school. Oh my god. Everybody thought they was on the tail again. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody all chucks. had the camo shorts, <laughs> right. the chucks, <laughs> smoking weed out the school bathroom, yep. sorry. I swear. But that's Either how it way. was though. And then um about my sophomore year, right when I was going through some shit, man, Mac Miller was another big artist. The Sour Hour tape. RP Mac Miller. Major RIP Mac Miller. <laughs> I'll never be the same without my homie here, man. He inspired me. Every time he released an album, it just motivated me to go out and, you know, try even harder. Okay. And now that I don't have that, it, it does disappoint me, but it, it makes me want to go even harder. Right. Honestly. It should. Definitely. Now, any collabs coming soon? We got a little, we got some works here and there. Um, I let the, I, don't, I don't like to put it all out there. Yeah, I like to make, keep some things surprises. Mm -hmm. Makes it a little more interesting. I like <laughs> I like being a little interesting, being a surprising guy. Right, right. Um, we got some big things. Definitely, um, definitely the thing I'm most looking forward to is I got another album coming out by the end of the year. Okay. That's my that's my big focus. By the end of the year. Now, what's what's uh, what's the talk of it? I mean, what's the title of that going to be called? The title is going to be Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. It's going to be Ultimate Warrior. And on, on the cover, it's going to be, you know, the wrestler, Ultimate Warrior, on the front cover. I mean, that's that's... At the end of the day, I'm resilient. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a warrior, That's man. That's deep. That's deep. For real, you gotta be a warrior, man. Hell yeah, man. I'm a fighter. You gotta be a warrior out here. Now, uh, talk about the album. Let's go, let's go back to this album that you just dropped. Uh, Melancholy Melodies. Melancholy yeah. Melodies. What made you name that? Oh, uh, man. This Melancholy Melody is a crazy story. It started, the production of it started on December 8th. I got news. And, you know, an ex of mine was, uh, she was moving. Okay. Um, really no explanation. She just was graduating and spreading her wings and Good. she and she moved. So she didn't care, did she care about her relationship? She cared, but at the same time, you know, she was focused, you know, on her future. Okay. And we tried, you know, to keep it together. Uh, I mean, you know, we both got love for each other. I love that girl. I got her back no matter what. But, you know, just sometimes it don't work out like that. Um, but that's what inspired it was that when she moved away, uh, that's when it all started. Because I was in a dark spot, and every time I had that question in the back of my head, you know, what's why, why is it why is this happening? Why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? I'm just I just went to music. Yeah. Music was kind of just the yeah, only thing that yeah. I could go to, yeah. and I it, it's not like it was listening to me, but it was like it was my calm spot. Exactly, right. like I was able to when I when I put them headphones on, I got into it. I was able to turn into somebody else. I was able to step out of Chaz's shoes yeah. and become high C. Okay. And it just got me out of that that mindset and I yeah. you know I felt you know stronger. I felt like I could do it. And that's that's what Melancholy Melody was all about was no matter what spot you're in in life, you know, you can bust out of that. Yes sir. What uh how many songs is on there? Ten songs. Ten, Ten songs there's uh there's a skit and there's an interlude which is just an instrumental. Okay. And other than that, there's eight full songs, all produced, you know, by me. On my produces own songs, any rapping, man. On my iPhone, everything's on produced. On this iPhone, <laughs> all off the phone. And when you're focused, you're focused. It, nothing's gonna, gonna stop that's you. Nothing's gonna stop you. No distractions. What's your favorite song on there? Mm, that's hard, man. Uh, just because a lot of the songs hold a special meaning to me. Uh, probably, the, probably my favorite. Off the top of my head, one I can I've listened to a couple times every other day was Stone Cold Steve Austin, because <laughs> that was just one of those songs, man. It was like, don't take no shit, man. Kick yeah. in the door, fuck them. Right. And that's that's kind of the attitude you gotta have when it comes <laughs> to this music shit, for real. <laughs> fuck them, kick in the is. door, man. Definitely is. What would you say makes you different as an artist? What makes me different as an artist? <clears> hmm. <throat> it's a good question. What makes me unique? I want to. I want to say makes me different. What makes me unique yeah. is the fact that you know I'm a guy that's out here putting my life on the line. I'm putting my whole. I'm putting everything out there. It's just when you put your whole life out there like that, you're really vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And when you're worse. vulnerable like that, you know what I'm saying you get a lot of public eye on you. You get a lot of people. Well, I can't believe you're talking about this. Can't believe you're talking about that. 
But you know what though? If you want to be unique out here, you got to be real. And everything I spit on my shit's real. Yep. You're never going to get a song from me and you're going to sit there and question and be like, is he really doing that? Is he really doing that? Because <laughs> I'm really out here doing that. And I think that's honestly, in 2019, what makes me unique is the fact that I am I keep it 100% real. I don't got to go on the gram and stunt. Right. I don't got to go and do this. I'm just me. Right. And that's why people like me. That's why people, you know, gravitate towards yep, me. Because yep. I will keep it real. Yep. Sure. Regardless. What's uh, the tribe looking like in the future? What's the, what's the plans? Just big moves, man. Just taking big steps in the music, making better beats, you know, pushing out better lyrics, mm -hmm. you know, producing for people, you know, I, you know, I sell beats, a lot of people don't understand, they don't see that, they don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just think I'm out here making my own beats, I sell beats, I love working with other artists. How you put yourself out there to let people know that you make beats? You know what, I, I have done a poor job of marketing that. Yeah. I have, because there should, I should be out there, you know, beats for sale and whatnot. Because uh, currently, right now, the only social media I have is, you know, my Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram, you know, both the highest sea leader of the tribe. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing I really got. I'm on SoundCloud and YouTube. By the end of the year, uh, actually, hopefully by September, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, everything, uh, Google Play. I, yeah, I, yeah. So I signed, you know, I signed up and I should be on there soon. So all my fans should, you know, have a universal way to listen to my music. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All social media platform. All right, man. We checking out Bug TV. You can follow us on IG at Bug TV 100. Shout out to my dog Terry Chaz. Shout out to Chaz for the great interview, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, dog. Yup, yup. I'd ride for my homies. I'd die for my homies. Ride for my family. I'd die for my family.